Welcome back. Now, the Kudan Kulam nuclear reactors in Tamil Nadu have been at the center of an intense controversy with claims and counterclaims being made on how safe they are. Work at the Twin Towers nearly stalled for over a month now due to the agitation by locals who are demanding they be shut down. NDTV science editor Pallav Bagla travels to the heart of these Russian made reactors to bring us this exclusive report. Doubted as being among the safest reactors in the world, these two huge domes are part of what some would call modern temples of India and others would describe them as evil structures. Between them, they will house over 200 tons of enriched uranium to power homes in Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Kerala and Puducherry. But things have not gone according to plan. The secrecy at these plants and a series of communication errors have made people fear that something is amiss at the nuclear reactors. We pose that question to the head of the facility, who is apologetic, but only as an afterthought. We really feel sorry that we could not communicate to them when we're trying to do this test. And we will definitely take this as a, a learning point for us. But how representative are the protests? A massive agitation is supposed to be happening at Idantikarai village near the nuclear plant where hundreds and thousands are supposed to be agitating every day for the last one month, sitting on a relay hunger fast from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. NDTV did a straw poll at the protest site near the local church. I am at what is considered the ground zero for the nuclear protest against Kodankulam. As you can see, there is almost no support and there are no agitators in this particular place. We came here unannounced and it seems to have had its effect. There are hardly any protesters and there are hardly any agitators. But when you ask the locals if they want the nuclear reactors in the backyards, NDTV took a closer look at the several safety features in the reactor itself. To prevent radiation leaks, the fuel is enclosed in a steel vessel covered with two hermetically sealed concrete walls, which are some 1.2 meters thick. For emergencies, there are several other backup safety systems. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free NDTV.com/apps.